Okay, a bit of a video on how to set up the Eagle Tree tracking, antenna tracking system because it's not overly straightforward. Um, first things you need to make sure you've got all the gear you need. Um, firstly you need the Eagle Eyes which is basically the heart of the system. You need the OSD which is buried in there somewhere. That's it there. And you also need the V logger which is the one underneath it. Um, and also need a GPS that plugs into it all. So assuming you've plugged it all in okay and got it all operational um, then um, oh, obviously you need your antenna tracker here. Um, servo operated antenna tracker. I don't use a tilt but you might have a pan and a tilt system um, so my antenna goes on top of here your directional antenna and obviously it pans, I want it to pan because it's quite a high gain antenna um, this sits up on my roof um, and is linked down here via Cat5 cable um, that runs through up into the roof and so forth but for the moment I've just got it in here and plugged in um, in here and obviously the other end plugs into your Eagle Tree system it's got a pan input here and a tilt input I've only got the pan in obviously because I'm only using pan um, you also need to power it using some sort of um, source because that powers your servo as well it's got a built-in back so it'll um, this is you can plug in anything from 6 to 14 volt here but it'll um, take it down to I'm not sure what it is but 5 or 6 volt I presume um, and obviously you need to plug in your video uh, the antenna receiver into your eagle eyes um, power it all up So it's ready to go. Um, and you also need to power your vehicle up so it's plugged in and transmitting data. Um, so that's all working. Uh, now you'll also need to plug in your OSD into your computer by the, just a standard USB cable which isn't overly obvious at the first start so you plug that in um, <coughs> then you need to go to your data recorder software which you download um, from your Eagle Tree website brings up the Eagle Tree e-logger you need to go on to hardware scroll down to choose parameters to display on video OSD so it's connecting to the OSD on your vehicle downloading it and it's come up with the setup utility At the bottom of that there's a button configure Eagle Tree Sorry, configure Eagle Eyes tracking. Click on that, and it brings up all the pan tilt tracker calibration. Um, my servo rotates uh, further than normal, like it actually rotates more than 360 degrees, so I've ticked that. Um, pan speed, I've just, it's standard at 5, I think, so I've just left it at 5, uh, tilt speed I don't care because I'm not using it um, I've already set this but I'll reset it so I can show you how to do it all um, so first thing you gotta do is pick 0 degrees north um, now I've printed out a 
sheet of paper with all the markings on. Basically it's all 360 degrees of the compass. Um, so zero degrees you'd set for north and you'd have your servo at 50 percent which is the logical thing to do. Um, you can see here it's presently rotated to 50 percent. Middle little range. I'll put a stick here to show that it's rotated to 50% and facing north to make it easier. Um, so we'll say, yep, that's fine for north. Then we click this button to finalise that panning angle. And then you can see here it's now calibrated that angle. But you need to do a few angles, obviously, so it knows what's going on. Click on this. Then go down to let's go 90 degrees clockwise, which means um, you want to calibrate the setting 90 degrees from north, going clockwise direction, which is east. Um, I already know mine. My angle's 56.5 percent, but basically all you do is you click on. Uh, the pan buttons and see which way it turns. So I'll click on 10% more and you can see it will rotate. So that's gone too far. So I'll go on the other direction 1% less until I get it to the 90 degrees clockwise position. So you fiddle around with it um, until you get it at the setting you want. Um, so I've gone, once it's right, uh, you set it, and it's pointing at the 90 degrees. Once you're happy with it, you click on the finalise that angle. Then you select the next one, uh, 180 degrees clockwise, which is clockwise direction 180 degrees which is south. Um, so then you move the servo by pushing the buttons until it's pointing in the direction you want and then you click on the finalise that angle. So it's all the same with these angles. You need to make sure so the next one is 270 degrees counterclockwise, which is west. So 270 degrees around the compass is west. Okay, continuing on. Sorry, my camera cut out there. Um, is west, but you want to go in the counterclockwise direction, which is obviously that way. So you select it there and you pan it counterclockwise. Sometimes it's easy just to return it to north, 50%, and then go from there. So we want to go this direction. So we keep clicking until it's at the desired spot. And when we're happy with it, we click on finalise. Uh, it's also a good idea. Uh, oh, we'll do south as well, counterclockwise. And uh, it's also a good idea to set your maximum rotations. You obviously don't want it to rotate more than the servo can handle. Uh, so you just, I'll just make it go a bit further than um, I need. Finalise the counterclockwise one. Then uh, do the clockwise maximum rotation. Uh, it doesn't really matter what it is, it's just as long as it doesn't go further than that, I'm happy. Um, when you've done all those, you don't have to do, I don't bother with the 45 degrees 
clockwise or the 315 degrees clockwise. You can do them if you want, but you don't have to. Then uh, you click on finalize all pan angles. Comes up with a message that it's all been done. Click OK. Uh, then it's worth just going down and checking we haven't made a mistake. Um, you know, a typical mistake is adjusting something in uh, a clockwise direction when you're meant to do a counterclockwise direction, so be careful with that. Um, but just check it with the tracker test. Go to north, click go, check that that's north the way you want it, go through all these, yep, yep, just to make sure it's all doing what you want it to do. Uh, if it's not, uh, you want to the um, best way is to reset them all, reset all pan angles, reset pan angles. Um, if you've also done the tilt and it's all, you just want to start again, um, you can reset all the pan angles and just go through it again. Um, and that's it. Then obviously you go OK, just return to north 50% and then click OK and it's connecting to your OSD and that's it um, good idea then to uh, test it um, so basically I then make sure it's set before I put it on the roof I set it in the neutral position how it is um, screw this on and the pole that it's on I rotate it until it's facing due north um, and then obviously you want to drive your vehicle around and check that it's tracking around and following the vehicle and you're done hope that helps